Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find the moment of inertia of the composite or irregular shape about the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay, I have been given a question which says that we have to find the moment of inertia of the composite shape which is shown below about the x-axis and the uh, y axis okay before finding the moment of inertia of this composite shape we will first learn about what is parallel axis theorem so parallel axis theorem it states that the moment of inertia of an area with respect to any given axis is equal to the moment of inertia with respect to the centroidal axis plus the product of the area and the square of the distance between the two axes mathematically it is equal to suppose we have to find the moment of inertia of this body about this x axis so it will be equal to the moment of inertia of this body about its own centroidal axis which is x dash axis plus area of this body multiplied by the distance uh, between the axis and the uh, centroidal axis okay square of the distance between the axis and the centroidal axis okay so for our uh, problem we can divide this uh, shape this irregular shape into three parts three mathematical figures the first one is the semicircle second one is the rectangle and third one is the uh, triangle okay i have already shown the centroids of these uh, three figures uh, that is uh, these three mathematical figures from the x and y axis okay uh, so uh, centroid of uh, semicircle okay it is 8.5 uh, mm uh, from the y axis okay a centroid of the rectangle is 32.5 mm plus 10 mm from the x axis and 15 mm from the y axis okay uh, centroid of tr uh, tr triangle which is h by 3 from the base so it will be 42 divided by 3 which is 14 mm from the base okay and for this altitude it will be uh, 30 mm divided by 3 which is 10 mm okay from this edge of the rectangle okay so after dividing this into three mathematical figures we will find the uh, moment of inertia of each figure about the x and the y axis and finally we will add up to get the moment of inertia of this composite axis so moment of inertia of this uh, semicircle about x axis uh, it is uh, ix is equal to ig plus a into d1 square okay ig is the moment of inertia of the semicircle about its own uh, centroidal axis which is own centroidal x axis which is this axis okay this dashed line so it will be equal to uh, pi into r4 divided by 8 plus area of the semicircle which is pi r square divided by 2 into square of the distance between the centroidal uh, axis of the semicircle and the x axis so r is 20 okay and d1 okay it is equal to uh, you have to subtract from 42 mm you will subtract 20 mm so you will be left with this uh, this distance okay okay so between the centroid plus you have to add it 23 and 10 mm so it will be equal to 55 uh, 55 mm okay 55 mm will be the distance between the uh, centroid okay between the centroid of the semicircle and the x-axis okay it is 10 plus 23 plus 42 minus 20 mm which is equal to 55 mm okay so its value is equal to 1.963 into 10 is power 6 mm 4 okay unit of uh, moment of inertia is meter raised power 4 or mm raised power 4 okay so uh, after finding the moment of inertia about the x-axis now we will find the moment of inertia about the y-axis so moment of inertia about the y-axis it is since this y-axis is also the centroidal axis of the semicircle it's at the edge not the centroidal axis at the edge so we directly have a formula uh, for moment of inertia of semicircle when uh, it is about its base so it's equal to uh, pi r raised power 4 divided by 8 okay so it is pi into 20 raised power 4 divided by 8 which is equal 0 0.0628 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power 4 okay this is the direct formula moment of inertia of the semicircle about its uh, base is simply pi r is power 4 divided by 8 here this y axis is the base of the semicircle okay uh, 
after that we will find the moment of inertia of the rectangle about the x-axis so again it's equal to moment of inertia of the rectangle about its own centroidal axis plus area of the rectangle multiplied by the square of the distance between the centroidal axis and the x-axis moment of inertia of rectangle about its centroidal axis is b into h cube divided by 12 okay b it's parallel to the x-axis so here uh, it is 30 mm and h it is perpendicular to the x-axis which here is 42 uh, plus uh, 23 which is 65 mm okay and d2 distance between the centroid of the rectangle and the x-axis so it will be 32.5 mm plus 10 mm okay so putting values b is 30 h is 65 and d2 is 42.5 mm we get the moment of inertia of the rectangle about x axis is 4.209 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power 4. Similarly, moment of inertia of the rectangle about y axis, it will be moment of inertia of the rectangle about its own centroidal y axis plus area of the rectangle multiplied by the distance between the centroid of the rectangle and the y axis. So, about uh, moment of inertia of rectangle about its own centroidal y axis will be h into b cube divided by 12 h will be parallel to y axis so it is 42 plus 23 which is 65 mm b is perpendicular to the y axis which is 30 mm okay and d2 distance uh, between the y axis and centroid of rectangle which is 15 mm so putting values h is 65 b is 30 and d2 is 15 mm we get the value of moment of inertia of this rectangle about the y axis as 0 0.585 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power 4 okay after that moment of inertia of the triangle about the x axis it will be equal to moment of inertia of the triangle about its centroidal axis plus area of triangle multiplied by uh, the square of the distance between uh, the centroid of the triangle and the x-axis so moment of inertia of triangle about its uh, centroid is b into h cube divided by 36 okay here b is it should be uh, b is 30 mm which is parallel to the x-axis and h is 42 mm okay and distance uh, between the centroid of the triangle and the x-axis it is 14 mm plus 23 mm uh, plus 10 mm okay so uh, value of b is 30 value of h is 42 and value of d3 which is 14 plus 23 plus 10 which is equal to uh, 47 mm okay so it gives me the value of the moment of inertia of the triangle about the uh, about the x axis as 1.453 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power 4 okay after that moment of inertia of the triangle about y axis again moment of inertia of triangle about its centroidal y axis plus area of triangle multiplied by the square of the distance between the centroid of the triangle and the uh, y axis okay so here uh, the base which is parallel to y axis will be 42 mm and perpendicular to the y axis will be 30 mm so value of h here is 42 mm and value of b is 30 mm and value of d3 it's 30 mm plus this 10 mm which is equal to 40 mm okay so value of moment of inertia of this triangle about y axis is equal to 1.04 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power four okay now finally the moment of inertia of this composite shape about the x-axis is i1x plus i2x plus i3x okay so it is equal to 1.963 plus 4.209 plus 1.453 into 10 raised power 6 which is equal to 7.625 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power 4 okay or you can write it in up to three significant figures as 7630000 mm raised power 4 okay similarly moment of inertia of this uh, uh, shaded area about y axis will be i uh, i1 y plus i2 y plus i3 y which is equal to 0 0.0628 plus 0 0.585 plus 1.04 into 10 raised power 6 which is equal to 1.688 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power 4 or you can write it in 
three significant figures as 169000 mm raised power 4 okay so this is how you can find the moment of inertia of a composite or irregular figure about the x and y axis you simply have to divide it in the uh, mathematical simple mathematical figures and then add or subtract according uh, to the uh, question okay to get the moment of inertia of the composite shape okay i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you still have doubts you can write them in the comment box i will try my best to answer your doubts and if you found this video helpful you can like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel okay thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned